While Congress plays hot potato with the federal budget, the federal government sits on the cusp of a shutdown. The House has voted now to fund the government temporarily and also to delay Obamacare temporarily. Now Senator Harry Reid must decide how to move forward. Senior Capitol Hill producer Chad Pergram has been working day and night and day and night and night and day. Kind he uh, he got a nap and he joins us now, Chad. Good to see you. Thank you for having me. All right. So what happens now is we have this measure passed by the House early this morning, which you were covering every minute, twist and turn of this. It now goes to the Senate where Harry Reid says it's pointless. Uh, they're not going to do anything with it. The clock is ticking. What happens yeah, now? Yeah, the clock is ticking. But we are really into a match of congressional ping pong here mm -hmm. where they are batting the, the, the bills back and forth. Props. We have our props here back mm -hmm. and forth. They are batting the bill back and forth between the House and the Senate. So the most recent uh, bill that was passed last night, these are two amendments. One to delay the implementation of the health care uh, law, the other to repeal the medical device tax. Now, Harry Reid's office has said, you know, we're not going to entertain this. In fact, I, I emailed with one senior Democratic aide this morning who said, we already know what the result is. There's no reason for us to rush to come back. House Speaker John Boehner earlier today said this is the height of arrogance for the Senate to delay coming back into session and on the verge of a government shutdown until 2 o'clock on Monday afternoon. And that's because this time frame is so short. Is. They only have about 10 hours come Monday afternoon to work at this when they pong it back to the House of Representatives. Mm -hmm. and another thing that the House sent over was a measure that would keep the military funded in the event of a shutdown. Does the Senate have to take a vote on that? I mean, it, it seems that visually it's not going to look good for them if, if Harry Reid says, well, I'm not even going to vote on that. But if he does, it seems to be a seating that there will be a government shutdown. Right. That passed 423 to nothing in the House mm -hmm. of Representatives. But the Democratic position in the Senate has been, well, we do fund the military. We're going to pay the military. It's in our bill that we passed on Friday afternoon. So take that one up. Yeah. So that's what they're saying. And the positions are really locked in. It is really tough right now to All get right. something through. I want to read a couple of tweets. And believe me, we have gotten hundreds. We asked people what they thought about a government shutdown. I'll read you a couple. There were plenty actually on both sides. Philip says the less government, the better. So shut it down. Well, Trisha says that would be completely unacceptable. Too many people would suffer the consequences, civilians, veterans, military. I mean, she's looking at the logistics of it. There were many other people who tweeted back that there are also the optics of it and that they think the GOP will lose if the government shuts down. And that's the interesting thing. A couple of days ago, I talked to Tom Coburn, Republican mm -hmm. senator from Dr. Oklahoma. No. He was a freshman House member in 1995 when the government shut down. In fact, he voted against reopening the government at one point. And he said the Republican Party will fold like his, quote, hotcakes when the government shuts down because what happens are the calls change in his opinion right now you might be getting calls from your district if you represent a, a tea party centric district calls to shut it down go to the mat it looks good for your member to take on the president and the democrats and harry reid but once things change come tuesday morning then the calls change people say open it up we can't get into social security we can't get in to get our military benefits what have you all right so are you the senator of the house well i don't know <laughs> right now go. there you go <laughs> We Back to you. That. All right. Not my forte, but Chad, <laughs> Chad's forte is knowing everything that happens. By the way, you should be following him at Chad Pergram on Twitter.